We're about to go on a two-nighter, just Tyson and myself. Uh, we're expecting some nasty weather again, so I'm hammock and tarp. Got some duct tape to make some fixes on the way too, just in case. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna set off in a second. It's still daylight, thank God. See snow on the faraway hills. So the weather we're expecting is it's meant to be nice now but cold temperatures meant to drop rapidly to minus two maybe through the night and tomorrow morning we're on a yellow warning for snow and ice and uh, blizzardy conditions so yeah so i think that's meant to start at like 4 a.m and uh yeah, so it might not impact us until maybe 6, 7, 8 a.m., something like that. So I'm going to chance, depending on what it looks like when I get there, see what the floodplain's like, the first floodplain camp. Stay there tonight and I'll maybe visit it now and see what condition it's in, see if I've got enough room. I like a meter of land at least, that'll make us happy. So yeah, plodding on. situation is I've got about a meter and a half of land here like high but there's the puddles at least there's like a this is my kind of get off the island thing it's like a foot away so if it gets that high I'll give it a foot there's channels running all through the island too so hopefully that'll drain a lot of it off Top of the island's completely submerged. <laughs> Tyson just run around like a crazy dog. Even the fire pit's been washed out. There's the top of the island over there. See it's burst its bank on the other side and you can see how much island's left. Not much so I've decided to move on higher. Uh, I'm going to go and check out the next camp. Well, that's the sun going down. Riverbank camp. It's dry up here, but uh, down there is another matter. All them islands are pretty much flooding, but there's enough wood here to keep us for tonight. If need be, we can move on tomorrow. Fire's going. 
It's been going for about 15 minutes now. Just catching some decent logs on on the top. So we can get a nice, nice hot ash before the weather turns. It's a bit blustery like, but I've got some epic tied down setup like. Put a couple of patches on just where I burnt it last time. But yeah, this is the only end that's exposed, all that's closed off down there. And then here, all the way down the other side against the wall. So yeah, I'm ready for a storm. No flat roofs this week. So there's my setup there, hammock, under quilt. Arctic sleeping bags in there, 4.5 tarp by 3, a bench, fire, coffee time. Again, I enjoyed those uh, southern fried chicken breasts that Tim and me had last week. So I decided to get them for a bedtime snack again for this week. That's why all the trees angle that way, because of the current of the water. All tucked up in the hammock. Tyson's. Uh in here, which is bottom. <laughs> yeah, we'll catch y'all in a couple of hours. Set my alarm for six, so it's like 1 a.m. now, so it's not a lot of sleep, but it'll do. I'd like to see what the weather's gonna be like before it comes. Morning all. Oh, I slept so good. It's 7 a.m. and uh, yeah, it's very wet. <sighs> Tyson's. <laughs> There's the sleet. It's laying, eh?
with some great difficulty, I have a fire going. It's stopped. Looking at everything at the moment. It's just went a little bit calm. So I'm just kind of rushing around scavenging stuff, firewood and, and stuff between between showers, I assume. Mason's got himself another ball. Or what's left of one, anyway. Just collecting some more wood. Had porridge. I've got a cherry bakewell tart. Well, I've got six of them.
sits in the hammock and chills. You do it. Wind is terrible. Uh. Tightest I'm doing. So I've put that wild garlic across the bottom, sea bass fillets, and then a little bit more wild garlic, just because I absolutely love lots of garlic. So yeah, I'm gonna cook this in a parcel on the fire. May add a bit of that tomato sauce too, eh? Yeah, I might do that. Just like a nice tomato and basil. Oh, I'm excited now. like a pasty. See the best sort of hot, hot ashes for this is ones underneath a log. I've also got some tomato and pancetta ravioli. Just gonna cook up some of that. Fish is ready. This will only take a minute. And it's hailstoning. <laughs> you can hear it.
water rising too. Almost covered them islands down there. Some are vicious coming. I mean, that escalated faster. <laughs> I'm going to set up a lot closer to the ground Completely close the tarp off to the ground to that side It's cut down a lot of the drift and wind in here dark now I'm about ready for bed I think it's getting windier it rains back on again too but I think it's gonna turn to snow because the temperatures dropped rapid since it got dark well guys morning Slept like a log, didn't we? Yeah? After you ripped my hammock. Look at that. <laughs> it's a big rip, that. Sure, fault that, wasn't it? Jumped out the hammock in the middle of the night, right through the net. Being packed up now, all nice and tidy. I'm gonna hit the road.